Bread and Jam for Francis by Russell Hoban. It was breakfast time. Father was eating his egg. Mother was eating her egg. Gloria was sitting in a high chair and eating her egg too. Francis was eating bread and jam. What a lovely egg, said father. It is just the thing to start the day off right, said mother. Francis did not eat her egg. Francis sang a little song to it. She sang the song very softly. I do not like the way you slide. I do not like your soft inside. I do not like you lots of ways. And I could do for many days without eggs. Francis spread jam on another slice of bread. Why do you keep eating bread and jam, asked father, when you have a lo lovely egg? I like bread and jam, said Francis, because it does not slide off your spoon in a funny way. Well, of course, said father, but there are other kinds of eggs. Yes, said Francis, but sunny side up eggs lie on the plate and look up at you. And sunny side down eggs just lie on their stomachs and wait. I think it is time for you to go to school now, said mother. Frances picked up her books, her lunchbox, and her skipping rope. Then she kissed mother and father goodbye and went to the bus stop. While she waited for the bus, she skipped and sang, jam on biscuits, jam on toast, Jam is the thing that I like most. Jam is sticky. Jam is sweet. Jam is tasty. Jam's a treat. Raspberry, strawberry, gooseberry. I'm very fond of jam. That evening for dinner, mother cooked breaded veal cutlets with string beans and baked potatoes. Ah, said father. What is there nicer on the plate and tastier to eat than breaded veal cutlet? It is a nice dish, said mother. Eat up the string bean, Gloria. Frances looked down at her plate and sang, What do cutlets wear before they're breaded? Flannel nightgowns, cowboy boots, furry jackets, sailor suits? Then Frances spread jam on a slice of bread and took a bite. She won't try anything new, said mother to father. Well, said Francis, there are many different things to eat, and they taste many different ways. But when I have bread and jam, I always know what I'm getting, and I'm always pleased. You try new things in your school lunches, said mother. Today I gave you chicken salad sandwich. I traded it to Albert, said Francis. For what, said father? Bread and jam, said Francis. The next morning at breakfast, father sat down and said, now I call that a pretty sight, fresh orange juice and poached eggs on toast. Francis began to sing a little song, poached eggs on toast. Why do you shiver with such a funny little quiver? Then she looked down and saw that she did not have a poached egg. I have no poached egg, said Francis. I have nothing but orange juice. I know, said mother. Why is that, said Francis. Even Gloria has a poached egg, and she is nothing but a baby. You do not like eggs, said mother. Have some bread and jam if you are hungry. So Francis ate bread and jam and went to school. When the lunch bell rang, Francis sat down next to her friend Albert. What do you have today, said Francis. I have cream cheese, cucumber, and tomato sandwich, said Albert, and a hard-boiled egg and salt shaker, and a thermos of milk, and a bunch of grapes, and a tangerine, and a cup custard. What do you have, he asked. Francis opened her lunch. Bread and jam, she said. You're lucky, said Albert. That's just what you like. I had bread and jam for dinner last night, said Francis. And for breakfast this morning, I'm a very lucky girl, I guess. Albert took a napkin and tucked it under his chin. He arranged his lunch neatly. I like cream cheese with cucumber and tomatoes on rye, said Albert. With his spoon, he cracked the egg, 
He sprinkled salt on the yolk. He took a bite of the sandwich, a bite of egg, and a drink of milk. Then he went around again. Albert made the sandwich, the egg, and the milk come out even. Albert sighed. I like to have a good lunch, he said. Frances ate her bread and jam. Then she went out to the playground and skipped rope. She did not skip as fast as she had skipped in the morning, and she sang, Jam in the morning, jam at noon, bread and jam by the light of the moon. Jam is very nice. When Frances got home, Mother said, I have a snack all ready for you. I do like snacks, said Frances. Here it is, said Mother, a glass of milk and some nice bread and jam for you. Aren't you worried that maybe I will get sick and all my teeth will fall out from eating so much bread and jam, asked Frances. I don't think that will happen for quite a while, said Mother. So eat it all up and enjoy it. Frances ate up most of her bread and jam, but she did not eat all of it. After her snack, she went outside to skip rope. Frances skipped a little more slowly than she had skipped at noon, and she sang, Jam for snacks and jam for meals. I know how a jam jar feels. Full of jam. That evening for dinner, Mother cooked spaghetti and meatballs. I'm glad to see there is enough for seconds, Father said, because spaghetti and meatballs is one of my favorite dishes. Try a little spaghetti, Gloria, said Mother. Frances looked down at her plate. There was no spaghetti and meatballs on it. There was a slice of bread and a jar of jam. Frances began to cry. My goodness, said Mother. Frances is crying. What is the matter? asked Father. Frances sang a little sad song. What I am is tired of jam. I want spaghetti and meatballs, said Frances. May I have some, please? I had no idea you liked spaghetti and meatballs, said Mother. So Mother gave Frances spaghetti and meatballs, and she ate it all up. The next day, when the bell rang for lunch, Albert said, What do you have today? Well, said Frances, setting a tiny vase of violets on her desk. Let me see. I have tomato soup, Frances said, and a lobster salad sandwich. I have celery, carrot sticks, and black olives and plums and cherries and vanilla pudding. That is a good lunch, said Albert. I think it is nice that there are all different kinds of lunches and breakfasts and dinners and snacks. So do I, said Frances, and she made everything come out even. The End.